Hello my friends, in our last video, we created the text query route, just this one, text query route. But in this video, we are going to make event query route. So first we are turning on our text editor, and then we come inside the dialog flow file. So last time we made this text query route here, and then now it's time to make the event query route below in here. So first, I am going to just copy everything because it will be really similar to this one. But the, first, we need to change this endpoint. This one will be event query because we will send the event into the dialog flow. So here, the, uh, we also need to put the session path that come from here. We created the session in here in our last video. Put that session in here but there is one thing we need to change because we were sending event instead of text so we need to change this one into event and this one is also need to be changed uh this one i will type the name and then this one will be event so after that we can put this request in here to send everything into the dialog flow and then we will get the response back with these responses so actually this is the all we needed to do to make the event query so as we did before for this text query by using the postman we are going to trigger this api so turn on postman and then we make one more request the it will be post request and the end point will be http localhost 5000 and api dialog flow and event query right event query to make sure it so after that we need to uh, put the bodies in here we will choose the row and we will change this one into json and we get the json data type so this needs to be uh, even and then uh, now we first need to go to the dialogflow website to make the intent for this event so we will go to dialogflow so here we have the dialogflow so what we want to do is uh like if we come inside our applications uh, I want to have this greeting from the chatbot so we want to make this event so first uh, we need to make this intent so click the create intent so in here uh, inside the event so it's good for you to just uh, uh, read this kind of documentation is it is always right to read the documentation click the add event and then uh, we click this welcome after we send the welcome event which kind of responses we can get from the dialog flow so you can just uh, type anything from in here now i get greeting how can i assist so if i want to get the, this response again so i can just uh, copy this one and then paste it so after that i need to click this save Ah, I didn't type intent name, so I named this one uh, welcome. So click the save. So they say it already exists, so maybe I can change this name. Um, so welcome to our web website. Okay, I will just do like this. Welcome to my website, and then I will click this save again. So now this intent saved, you can see here. So I need to just uh, put this one in here. And then I'm going to, at uh, first I need to turn on our server because uh, I didn't turn it on. So npm run start. So now our server is running. So now turn on postman again and then I will click this send. 
so now I got the response back here here so many things so if I see the log so I just uh, send this event query welcome to my website this comes from this one welcome to my website and then I got the response back the greeting how can I assist as I type in here so we made it for this event query event to query it loud uh, this one so if you have some question about this you can just uh, comment below and then thank you for watching this video thank you